see me? I want to see me die! Sit back down! Come here! Listen, William. It's tomorrow, okay? I killed that. Fighting in the woods. She child in a pond. And she fell back into the water. She wasn't breathing. What's wrong with him? What's he crying for now? He's scared. He's only twelve. Everyone thinks me dead, did they? Nobody knows a thing. Want him to go to prison? Does your dad know about this? No. <laughs> Look, will you shut him up? That guy's gonna be heading. Okay. Everything will be right. I should have told the police. Do you want to tell me about it? Go on then, right from the beginning, but quietly. No, I just really, really wanted to apologise. Influence of drugs also? Yeah, endorphins. I've seen Gabby probably. Oh, it's okay, honest. I mean, you did nothing but a little bit of harmless flirting. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, local doctor. Reputation and standing. Look, like I said, I see and hear a lot of things in there. And like you, it is all confidential. But, you know, if you need some counselling from one practitioner to another, why do you take Gabby to that conference in Chicago that you were talking about? You know, if you're really missing her. Who could resist that? It would mean me sitting around for days on end. Or do I go shopping with all the other wifeys? I'll be with you in the late afternoon, early evening, probably. I just can't, Gary. Well, I'm sorry, Gabs, but you're the one that's always complaining we don't spend enough time together. <sighs> well, you know I'm going to Glasgow today. Yeah? And I've got to stay over, so why don't you come with me? We could stay a couple of days. <laughs> Glasgow's hardly Chicago, is it? Well, I'd be with you in the evening, late afternoon. Who cares where we are? You know that that is impossible because of my work. <sighs> yeah, because my job is important as yours. All I'm saying is that I think it would be really nice to spend a bit of time together. Well, if that's all you want, then cancel the stupid conference and we'll go away together. You two got a problem with me? What's with the face then? Nothing. Just leave it, okay? I'll call it when I like. It's all right for you two. I could have won the pole final at the Angel if it hadn't been for this. Can't you let him out? Quiet. But he never got his drink. The perv gets nothing. Please. Shut up! Were these girls older than you? Same age. And why did they pick on you? Because it was different. What do you mean, different? Well, I never had no mates. And I didn't like 40 or anything like that. I like going to church. did nothing. He tried but came back. Even when my dad hit her, Melda, she still came back. Your dad hit her? He wasn't afraid of nothing. We'll never get out of here. What? It's always in the papers or on the telly. They just sit and wait until you give in. No one gives in! We need that juggernaut. Mosa Brown ain't got the bottle. But if we had one... Yeah! Crash our way out. Check out a few of them on the way. We'd definitely be on the telly then. Probably headline news. It's about time we started seeing some action.
You're in the same boat as us, mate. All I am saying is that it's easier for you to cancel your appointments than it is for me. It's not easy at all. You know, you talk such rubbish sometimes. I always thought that marriage was about give and take. Yeah, and about understanding and commitment. See, that is where you fall down, because there's never any understanding or commitment from you at all. Sorry. Oh, it's okay, Nisha, I'm on my way. I've got to get back to my unimportant little job. I'll call you later. I'm so sorry about that. Are you on evening surgery tonight? Cheers. Yes, yes. And then a practice meeting, another late one. So, uh, planning on making up with Gabby after that? No, I'll have to wait, I'm afraid. Oh? Why's that? Because she's going to Glasgow for the night. Oh. Well, there goes that idea. So, another night on your own then, yeah? What other choice do I have? Oh, loads of... Me. Yeah, yeah, I'd better get back. Some cars out there. I know. Looks like they've had to evacuate half of Liverpool. Had to park mine on the garage forecourt. Gotta play it safe though, Ron. It's all about the round, does my head in. Everything does your head in. Only the things that matter, Bella. <sighs> Feel sorry for Jimmy, you know. Must have been a nightmare for him in that house. No change there, then, eh? All right, all right. It's not fair when scum like that are around to terrorise you and wreck your house. All right. Well, listen, rather than form the Brookside Militia, he could do with some company, you know. And he took the time out to visit you when you were depressed. Thanks for coming, but you've missed your lunch now. Oh, it's all right. I'll get a sandwich when I get back. Okay. You have time? Yeah, it only takes five minutes in Kirsty's car. I just thought you'd need a bit of support as well. Oh, you're brilliant, you. So where is everyone, then? Stuart's at school, and Mum and Dad are in the garage with Ali and Kirsty. How are they coping? I don't know, really. Kirsty's hardly said anything. I think she's holding something back. She's... she's different. Bound to affect you, though, isn't it? You know, having a sawn off shotgun thrust in your face. It's not as if it happens to you every day. Oh. Can't help thinking on Luke could have been there. Yeah, but he wasn't, was he? Everyone's safe, everyone's fine, and I've got to get off. Listen, give Luke a kiss for me when you pick him up. Yeah, well, Sean's bringing him here. Oh, come. Just agreed it might be better. Did you? Okay, um... I'll see you later, yeah? Yeah, we've been through a lot together, me and you, haven't we, Jimmy? Tell me about it. Hello. Yeah, deaths, fires, <laughs> fights, houses burned down. Wonder what else could go wrong. Well, give us another 20 years and probably twice as much. You know, a couple of years ago, I'd have been hoping that that gang holed up in yours would kill you. I bet. Funny, innit? Yeah. Well, I was quite relieved when I found out that you and your Lindsay got out. Lindsay's my daughter and I'd do... anything, Bob. I did, didn't I? To say about Bob. Oh, I don't know. I feel so guilty about, you know, leaving the other four in there. Should I have a T-shirt with Jimmy Cork or dessert at midnight? Yeah, well, I think we've had enough T-shirts from you, Jim. You know, a certain couple. And twine. Listen, as a matter of interest, where did you get that picture from? Came over the net. Just an email address. Could have been from anyone, anywhere on the planet. No, no, no. That was definitely local. That photo was in a box of mine with some other keepsakes. Oh, what lost it, did you? Rob Moore, like. But don't worry, I'll find it. Listen, if you do hear anything... Mom, <laughs> I know it's a worry for you, and uh, no offence, like, but I've got Nicky and Emily and the lads on my mind at the minute, so a picture of you and Beth in the nuddy is the least of my problems, know what I mean? There you go. Yeah. I'm just going to the bar, see how things are. Okay. okay. Can you watch things here? Yeah. Great. No problem. Oh, and if um, if Gabby does phone, which I doubt, can you tell her that I'm unavailable? Just to her. Yeah, just to her. Yeah. Oi, Stu Roy. 
What, I soon? Well, right, Lukey. Still not back in the houses then, eh? No. Yeah, where's this mum? Because I'm meant to be dropping him off for her. And where, probably? Well, do us a favour then, take him inside, because I'm trying to find somewhere to park around here for ages. Okay, I'll tell you, come on. Hi, right, Lukey. Wait, that looks nasty, what happened? Daddy did it. So, how are you doing? Yeah, okay. Uh, tea, no sugar, please. Sweet enough, eh? No, got to watch your weight in this job. Mm, your weight looks fine to me. Thanks. How much? Oh, uh, it's freebie. Everything's on the house while all this is going on. Oh, okay. Uh, how's about? Uh, tea and coffee only, I'm afraid. So, um, what's it like out there? The situation is contained. <laughs> what else could I say? Your house is going to be a mess. It was a mess before, mate. All down to drugs. No, it's Emily. She's an untidy little madam. Look, it's not so much the drugs, is it? It's the way people use them and abuse them. Yeah, but all this smack and heroin is the cause. Get out of it, will you? Yes, it is. Jimmy's got a point on. Look, if there wasn't all this drug culture about, there'd be no gangsters or addicts. Well, there's always going to be gangsters and addicts around, whether they're drugs or not. Did you know up until the late 1960s you could get heroin on prescription? Go away. True. A lot of the Americans who are hooked came over here for their freebies and that's when the gangsters moved in. They suddenly saw a way to tap into the market. You mean they saw how people got addicted to it? Some smackheads in this country now, isn't there? Hey, listen, we've all been addicts to some drug or other at some time, dicko, mate. Well, I haven't. You like a beer, don't you? Yeah, but so what? Yeah, well, that's a drug. Same as smoking. Ah, no, smoking is. And I am a legalised drug dealer, according to your daughter. Yeah, well, that's right, you are. I mean, that's the key point, isn't it? Look, it's not about legalisation. It's about controlled decriminalisation. Am I right, Doc? Yeah. What are you all about? Well, look, fags and booze, they're not really legal, are they? I mean, you're only allowed to buy them in a certain way, you know, in certain places, and they're of a certain strength and quality, and you pay taxes on them. And we give the money to our friend here to take care of the casualties from the Saturday night punch-ups. A veritable virtuous circle. You pay your money, you know exactly what you're getting, right? Yeah. Cirrhosis of the liver and lung cancer. But if you pay an ounce of smack or coke, who knows what's in it? It could be rat poison or anything. Hey, hang on. If you're saying that we should legalise drugs like we do booze, you're off your cake. Look, it stands to reason, doesn't it? The easier it is to get, the more dope heads and smack heads we're going to have. And, look, every time someone smokes or drinks, they take a second, a minute, an hour off the life. Well, that's good for the government, isn't it? How do you mean good for the government? Because people are paying to die. You know, they're handing over good money to shorten their lives. And that, in turn, means that the government will probably never have to pay them a pension. The quid's in. So do you fancy a drink, Mum? No. Flynn, well, don't. <laughs> Hiya, Lukey. Where's Sean? Trying to find a parking space. What's that? He said Sean did it. What? How? He hasn't said. How did Daddy do that to you, babes? Push me. Yeah. All right, mate. So, uh, do you ever shoot anyone? Sometimes. What's it like? Not very nice. Where'd you shoot them? Right there. Right. You've seen his face. Oh, he fell over. You said you pushed him. I didn't. Bevy, do you? No. I'm getting onto the slisters. That's the last time you have him. Oh, just hang on a minute. Do you want me to take Luke to Lizzie's? Yeah, if you don't mind, Kirst. Sean's got some explaining to do. Have you seen his face? Are you all right after? I'm okay. Right, well, let's get this sorted. There's nothing to sort out. There is plenty to sort out. Do you know, I've had up to here with everything. I say we go. Now, one each. They won't stop us. Well, go and put your head back in that bag, will ya? Well, your great plan didn't work, did it? I say we go. Scotty. You in or out? I'm with Eddie, man. You can't sell the police. Does 
anybody else know that Imelda chased you through the woods? No, no, not the face person I've told you. Well, let's leave it like that for now. Don't tell anybody else anything, not even the police. But what about them? I have to tell them, because then you can leave me dad alone. No, Anthony, don't do that. But they said that they'll kill him. I'll have to. Look, I'll sort it out, yeah? Okay. Your dad'll be all right. I still can't believe you think I'd hit him. So he just fell? No, it, he was playing at being Spider-Man he was climbing up on a sofa. And what happened? I was the baddie he was trying to get away from me. And you know how clumsy he is? And we fell off. And? And he banged his head against the side of the cabinet. Must have been some hell of a knock. You know where that thing is. I mean, well, do you remember when you were, you know, doing it? And uh, you fell forward and banged your arm on it? Don't remind me. Well, there you go then. You know, we're parents, aren't we? I'm not going to hurt him. Oh, and now I'm sorry I kicked off. It's just everything that's happened over the last couple of days, and all oh, Luke could have been there. You're making me nervous. That's your problem. I don't think we're gonna make Pack it. Pack in spineless. There's too many of them, we're gonna get shot. I said, back it, look I'm up. telling you, first chance they get, they're gonna shoot to kill. We've got no chance. In case, if we've got no chance, let's have a bit of pleasure before we do. How about it, girls? Come on, hey, Terry. Leave it. She's done nothing wrong. Oh, how touching. Unite in shining armor. Mr. Shane Co No, sorry. Sir Shane Quake in your boots. <laughs> you know what, girls? I think old Sir Shane here is still a virgin. <laughs> Leave it, eh? Hey. Only a deep enough. Empty head over here, so we're gonna die anyway, so what's the problem? Please tell me. Ed! Eddie! Get in here! Man, take a chance. Don't move. Go on, big man. Take a chance! Terry! Enough! Ah! Watch it! Let's all stay calm, and we might get out of this. Says who? Says me! Since when did taking phone messages become part of your job description prescribing this better? I was passing, so I said I'd give it to you. Yeah, but you'll be in the number one after a little while. That's just great. So I prescribe a long hot bath, a good scrub, and an early night. <laughs> oh, do you now? Well, if only I had a loofah. Well, I could help you with the back scratch. We've got a loofah in the flat. Do you think I could borrow it? Maybe, but you don't know where it's been. I bet I could guess. I bet you could. <laughs> Could I pick it up? Maybe I could pop around with it later. Just to make sure you're using it properly, of course. Of course. <laughs> I'm not sure we should be talking like this. We would have had to talk about it sooner or later, Gary. Yeah, but... Do you want to do something about it? But... Face it, Gary. It's going nowhere. You're never together. In fact, you're miles apart. She is still my wife. Whatever. It's up to you. I'm not scared of him, you know. Do you think I am? He's more scared of you. Tossing another one out. He's coming out. Anyone moves, I'll kill him. We wait for Mozza. He'll call when it gets dark. Ow. Look, just get off me. They're still in there. I can't stand this. I want out now! When it's dark! Stuff, Mozza! He's not coming, he was never coming! He's waiting for them to do us. But I'll get out. I'll do him. Just as soon as they... I'm not waiting! I'm gone! 
I don't care who I take out on the way. Any problems with that? I think we should give it up. No one gives up. Right? Right? Right. No one gives up, but we wait for Dark. We wait for Mozza. Mozza's done us! But we don't give in to coppers. Especially Scouse coppers. I hate Scouses. I'd love to kill them all! <laughs> Bang! 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 <laughs> I could have won that bleeding pool final. I'll try not to worry. The girls will be all right. They're with the lads. I hope you're right, Deco. I really hope you're right. What you said before. I meant it. Would it be wrong? No. If you're sure. I've never been more sure about anything in my life. Do you reckon? Me and you? What are you playing at? You nearly broke my finger there. Eh? Uh, sorry, Doctor, I... Uh... That's all right. Is that Snorris? Yeah. Good. Anything in? No. Still nothing in about the cloaks. How do you manage to keep it quiet? Mm, I don't know. Especially now Jimmy Corkill's out. I'm telling anyone to listen all about it. And he's been taking pictures on his phone. Still quiet out there? Dead. Right, well, uh, give me a shout if you need me, yeah? Mm. Yeah, OK. Thought you'd seen us. It shouldn't have happened. It should. It should. I'm glad it did. We've been it for months. For good reason. It's obvious we both feel the same way about each other, isn't it? Maybe, but that doesn't make it right. But it feels right. To me, at least. Um, perhaps it's pushing it here. Well, where else do you want to push it then? Oh, right now. Yeah. If we stop, we're only going to talk ourselves out of it, aren't we? And is that a bad thing? Yes, yes, and you know it. Listen, my place, five minutes, OK? Um, what about Gabby? She's away. I'm not talking about whether she's in or not. It's there, isn't it? What? My mill. Ariola. Get off. <laughs> Do you know, I used to win a fortune in med school for pinning the things on the what's it? Oh, I bet you did. Mm, I did. What are they doing? The Alamo, mate. Now if they come in, they'll have to come that way. We won't be here. Come on, there's more stuff here. Mosa Brown won't come across. He will. He never has! <laughs> Starting to miss your fella, yeah? 
You can't think much of you, leaving you behind. You didn't have much choice. I wouldn't have left you if I was here. I'm just going upstairs for an hour. I'll be back in time for evening surgery, OK? All right. Any problems, just call me. OK. Quiet. Why can't you just let my dad out? He hasn't done anything to you. He's all right where he is. Please, you can't just leave him in there. If you don't shut up, I'll put you all in there with him. According to Jimmy, they're off their heads. They came to steal drugs off the Liverpool gang. Yeah, I know. Scary, isn't it? Listen, um, I'm going to pop up to the flat. I've got to call our Ravi about Christmas. Well, can you put that on his bill rather than ours? Yeah, I would, but it's a bit private. You don't mind, do you? No. Nothing to do here, is there? Suppose now. Okay, um, text me if you want me, okay? Okay. His leg's really sore, it's all strapped up. Reckons it won't affect his football, though. Typical Steve. Sounds like he's getting better, though. He feels really guilty leaving Marty and the kids behind. The police will sort it out, love. They'll all come through in one piece, you'll see. I hope so. And soon. Well, listen. You're welcome to stay here as long as you like. You know, I'm going to keep this place open right round the clock until it's all over. So just help yourself to tea and coffee and biscuits to all on the house. Thanks, Jackie. It's really good here. Listen, if there's anything, just let us know. It's all away now. Now and then at any minute they might get... I'm sorry. Um, hey, you have a good cry. I'll make you feel better. I doubt it. What's going on with the world? How can this happen? Armed drug gangs on the loose. It's not right. It's because there's so much money to be made from dealing the stuff. And all the money's coming from normal kids. <gasps> Do you know, the nightmare is thinking that your kids are going to be offered it. I mean, the thought of Josh being offered drugs, it's just, it makes me sick. But he will be, you know, sometime in the future. Either in a club or on the streets, or even in the schoolyard. It's impossible to shield them from it. You've just got to warn them as best you can. I tell you, I want to make sure that Josh knows all the risks if he's ever tempted. Mind you, he acts like he's on drugs already. <laughs> Do you know what we were talking about this before? But we teach them to use drugs, don't we? I certainly don't. No, I don't mean drug drugs. But what do our kids see all the time? Us, their parents, their mothers, knocking back the aspirin and the indigestion tablets after a good night's out. Not the same, though, is it? Yeah, it is. It's a pick-me-up, isn't it? And what about all this? I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I'm not packing it in. Thank God for that. I thought I was going to lose my job then, you know, with you being born again. Uh, your job's here, waiting for you. I know, I know. Never thought my headache pills had set my... Marty's kids on the road to drugs. You warn them about the drugs, strangers, the roads, but how can you stop something like this? They were in their own house. They should have been safe. Josh, I won't tell you again. All right, love. Don't you live next door? I'm just calling in to see Gary. All right. Going to play doctors and nurses, are you? Going to talk about work, actually. Only joking with you, love. Still no sign of an end to all this drug gang business on the close, eh? Yeah, must be hard for them being trapped over there. Hey, do you know what my solution is to all this drug malarkey? Hey, I'll tell you. Do you know when the police do catch these drug dealers, do you know what they should do? They should make them take all their own stuff. That way, they know what it does to these kids after selling it to them. Because they only have to be a long shot. Because these scum, and there's no other word for them, they wouldn't give it to their own kids. No. They're even hypocrites. Oh, Kirsty just isn't herself, is she? It's hardly surprising, man. I'm sure it'd help if she'd just talk about it. Well, maybe her and Lizzie need to spend more time together before you open up to us. I hope so. Well, oh, Annie hasn't been the same either. Yeah. Your dad reckons he's best off round at Tomo's for the time being, but I can't help feeling they should be here where I can keep an eye on them. No, they're better away from it all. And they know where you are if they need you. See? You are old enough to cope with the world. <sighs> oh, I wish. Sean's been around, Dan's not happy. Situation normal. I like the agony call. 
Did she take sugar? Oh, I'm not sure. Listen, Bev, have you thought any more about changing back over tonight? It's only it's been over a month now. I know, but oh, I thought I got on top of things with Josh, but with this happening, I mean, you don't want to have them outside, do you? I know. My gut's changed when I ate, and then I couldn't find Rachel. Oh, the joys of motherhood, eh? Yeah, and we all want to enjoy it. So, listen, can you let me know if you're going to come back as the manager, or I'm going to have to find someone else? Yeah, yeah, I will. And listen, thanks for everything you've done with me and Josh, you know, we really appreciate it. Should I hold out? It's okay. Oh, you've let him go? Well, they wouldn't tell me anymore. He's with the police now. What about ours? Sorry, love, that's all I know. Oh, please, God, let there be some good news. What about Tim? Emily and Nicky? I know. Do you think they'll go in all guns blazing if it carries on for much longer? Well, they're bound to, aren't they? It's poor Diane, I feel sorry for. Mm. You know, she's been a mum to them kids for all them years and then Marcy's ex suddenly turns up. Terrible for her. I mean, they're trapped in there without her. Probably going to get shot. Eh? Well, it's true, isn't it? Where's your phone ringing? What? Uncle Moz not called then? <sighs> he will. Yeah, right, he will. He's just counting down the clock. You see, what happens, drug dealers, they just do a few years inside, and the next thing, they're out and they're selling it again. Now, if they'd have been given a taste of what it's like to actually be an addict, they'd yeah. soon end the way. Okay, Rob. See ya. <sighs> I thought he was dead. What is Gabby like? Shh, shh, shh. You bored? Hey, leave it alone. Um, don't him. <laughs> I'm bored. You bored? You're too scared to be bored, aren't you, Loco? If you say so, Tess. You don't half look like his missus. Yeah. And you've always had a thing for her, you said. Stop it. Leave her alone. Don't you want to know what sort of thing I've got for your Jackie, then? <laughs> you wanted to come down and see her. Hey, I've told you, this is no place for a kid. You should be upstairs. Especially now I've got your Auntie Jackie feeling sorry for us. I'm bored. Oh, Michael's taking Rachel and the kids to Sinbad's, but he didn't want to go. Oh, why not? Sounds like it'd be nice. I wanted to stay down here. Well, you can't, so upstairs now. Oh, look, Josh, if you behave yourself, I'll pop across the garage and get you some sweets, OK? OK. Now, oh, there's a good lad. I'll bring them up to you later. But don't forget. Come on. No news? Well, listen, why don't you go to the hospital and see Steve? The police will be in touch as soon as there is any news. I don't know. But look, he sat there on his own, worried out of his mind, the same as you. There's nothing you can do here, is there? You know, I knew that if we stopped... We shouldn't have started. So what do we do now? I don't know, but this doesn't feel right. So, so what? I mean, we just go back to your drink after work, a quick kiss at Christmas. Is that what you want? Always were a handful. Is that all this is gonna be? No. It's already more than that. Can't you at least make sure Marty's okay in there? You might need a doctor. Please. Look, I don't care. Just shut up, will ya? This is all very new to me. I think about what I'm doing. Married man. Come my on. boss. Come on. 
I won't hurt you. Oh, you won't mean to. No, 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 I couldn't, like, even if I tried. Oh, you could. No, honestly. I'm not like all the others. Sorry, I mean, I'm not like anyone else. You're not else, making it any better. No. In fact, I'm making it considerably worse, I'd say. <laughs> we could really do with some sort of shorthand, couldn't we? Yeah. Like couples have. Married couples. It's funny, but I don't feel married anymore. I feel like I'm starting all over again. Until the next time you sit down with Gabby or till you lie down next to oh, her. Oh, please. Honestly, I don't want to think about that. It'll happen. Yeah, but, well, it won't be like this. Like it is with you. Oh, here we go. More stuff. I swear, okay, if I ever come up with any more stuff, you have my permission to slap me. Actually, slap me anyway, I quite like it. <laughs> well, I can think of more appropriate punishment, Doctor. What do you reckon? <laughs> me and you? Lucas and Sir Shane can keep an eye on things, don't they? Hey, this is me being nice. I could do whatever I wanted here. You don't think any of these are trying to stop me, do you? Look, why don't you just give yourselves up and we can all get out of here? <laughs> You'll be off, see? I'll be back, no. No! No! taking any chances there's lunatic manks with guns out there the police have got them surrounded you're safe enough in there yeah well, you never know i'm here now so can we leave it unlocked emily get off me what have you done to her what's going on the police are gonna wait us in there quick what have you done to her emily shut it <laughs> Playing There's no way they're gonna let us out alive. Oh, I said it, I said Catch it. Him, look out, or I'll do you in now. You're off it, Terry. It's over. No chance. Our kids, right? What are we doing, Ed? Give up, right? Yeah, yeah. It's over. Not for me. Come on. Get up. <laughs> you and Curly are our insurance. No, leave her. No. She's on the outside. From where I'm standing. Stay there. Move. And I shoot her. There's no way! There's no way they're gonna let you out alive! Either they let us go, or it's over for these two! God's choice! <laughs> what are you doing? Staying alive. No way am I being slotted for you. Pull that. They'll be through the windows. Hostages or no hostages. No one leaves! Like you said, Teddy boy. Plot's choice. Come on. Really? <laughs> 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 One shot. Come on, let's have it. <laughs> Drop your weapons. Let the girls go. Do not move. We'll kill him. I mean it. Back off or we'll get it. Please. I bought assault. No, please don't leave us. Back please. off. Drop your weapons. 
do one no let the girls go no move <laughs> shoot you. You try and shot at me, I will shoot you. As soon as that gun moves from her head, I will shoot you. It's okay girls, take it easy. I'm Stop staying. police! <laughs> He's gonna kill me. It's okay, it's okay. One suspect and hostage. Into the woods. One suspect down. Other hostage, okay. Civilians also in the woods. What do you reckon, love? A bargain of 4.99. Look at all the cars out there. You can't move. Alan, Alan. Can you move my car, please. You know, this Asian bar and sweets, you know, this bad for them and all that, but a little treat every now and then doesn't do them any harm. the intensive care games. She's gonna be okay though. Not just unconscious. Yeah, but she's gonna come round soon, isn't she? Everyone's gonna be wondering where we are. No, I think she'll be looking for what's going on down there. She'll be okay, I know she will. Oh, please, let her be. That's Wednesday's Brookside at 8 o'clock. Tomorrow night on 4, the Osbournes are off on a whirlwind tour. Lend some moral support at 9.30. Next tonight, the focus is on the troubled reign of Mary I, her phantom pregnancies and her deluded ideals.